And hello, welcome everybody. This is uh, Trick Shot for Dummies. This is number one, and uh, I've been getting this requested a lot, so I thought we might as well just start doing this now. Uh, but basically, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to trick shot and going through the steps as basic as I could possibly go. Uh, first up, we're gonna talk about is classes. Second, we're gonna do timing. And third, I already forgot, so this is gonna be exciting. But anyway, uh, I thought I would show you off just what you should be customizing for your sniper as far as like trick shotting goes so this is basically this is what i did at the very start so if you're a beginner you know this is perfect for you if you're kind of intermediate that's more of like next episode and then you know i ain't no expert but i'll try to get into detail about like the really hard stuff later on so let's go ahead and start off what we're going to use for a class and we're going to hit up the dsr we're going to use laser and fmj this is just a personal preference. That's not everybody. You know, some people don't like to use laser. It's just something I've had more luck with. FMJ still gets me hit markers, but I still use it anyway. Uh, and then I like to run with, uh, you know what, we'll go with the secondaries. You wanna put overkill on? As I said, this is my preference. Uh, overkill with a Remington. I just like going for shotgun trick shots. Or not really shotgun trick shots but having it as your secondary because I think the switches are just pretty interesting and cool. And all right, we're gonna run with the perks now. We're gonna go with lightweight for your first one. Your second one, you're gonna have fast hands. For your third one, you're gonna have dexterity. For your lethal, I just say some text for right now. And for your tactical, I would run with concussion. You probably see a lot of trick shotters use shock charges or mainly a lot of other stuff like people use sensory, sensory grenades. You probably send a few shots with like all of these. Uh, including like EMPs, uh, but mainly you'll probably see shock charges, but from even a good amount of people, concussions, uh, but I just really recommend concussions. So that's basically it. If you do not know, uh, or if you're just kind of confused, just pause the video and just click on uh, the ones that you just saw. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get going with the getting the bots to the flag, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'm always like really bad to, with tutorials, but I wanna make this just because I'm getting requested so much and the sniping for dummies did so well, so I thought I might as well just uh, do this. It's a great thing to do. So we're gonna run with, uh, if you guys don't know how to do the whole capture the flag thing, it's fine, just look up a tutorial. I'm probably not the best guy to, to tell you how to do this just because as I said, I'm terrible with tutorials. Hopefully this actually still works because I, I just started up, this is on the PC by the way. Uh, you should be running, uh, you're probably on like PS3 or like Xbox 360 or something, or maybe even Xbox One. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go get the, the bots really quick. Did I even set up the bots? I did, I'm just gonna go grab the flag. All right, I didn't wanna see this camo just yet actually. Oh, this camo looks sick. Oh my god, I forgot. This is the first time that I've actually seen this camo. Yo, this camo looks sick. It's basically dark matter is what I was trying to go for, but it looks really cool. But we're gonna go, we're gonna get these bots. Hopefully you don't kill me. Good boy. And we're gonna put them to mid and I'm gonna show you guys just really basic what you should be doing. So hopefully they actually stay there. If they don't stay there, then we're gonna have a little bit of a problem. But what you should be doing is you should be running, at least for myself, I run on default uh, for my layout, for like my controller layout. And then what I do is on my, what is it? My sensitivity is always 14. And this is what I request the most at the very, very start is being able to look into a position. So you see like this, this is flag and being able to 360 pretty much to where it's perfect or you're at least in the crosshair. I'm not really good right now because I'm also playing on the PC, so it's a little bit weird. If I was on 360, my, like my spins would be a little bit more uh, crisp, but yeah. That's, this is the one thing I recommend doing is getting used to going into a position and then 360 and just getting into the point to where you time it basically perfectly. The closer you can get to the flag, the better, you know, just keep practicing this. I know it sounds probably like really, really stupid, but it's just, it's just a good like little practice session to, to be able to do this. This is very, very good. Uh, the next thing that we're going to probably work on is I'm sure I'm also basing this a lot of like what we taught formula at the very beginning, just because it was good to teach him is, uh, when you get that down, what I suggest is you get on top of somewhere. If you want to set up the, you know, the bots where they are right now, you know, that's fine. 
my controller is a little bit freaking out. Uh, but what you want to do is you want to jump 360 and be able to look in just where you're supposed to, like at the flag. Uh, just at the point of origin to where you were looking at. So just like something like that. If you have to kind of flick the other way just to get to the to the point, that's fine. You're just trying to get in this area, basically. So that's just a basic 360. Once you can get your timing down with that, you know, that's not very hard. Obviously, you know, that's pretty easy. Can I even kill these? I can. I'm a little bit laggy. I don't know why. My FPS is probably kind of low. Um, but yeah, so you want to practice this the most as of just right now, once you can get that down, I would imagine a lot of you guys are probably already done with that, which is totally fine, which is totally cool. But the next thing I kind of recommend is being able to look in a different direction and still being able to kind of do like a half spin or whatever necessary you need to do to aim at that target. So for example, these guys are over here and instead of me just looking at them, try to get up here instead of me just looking at them and then jumping and doing that i'm starting over here and i'm 316 and i'm not really 316 i'm kind of like 540 or whatever or how many degrees that was but you are able to turn in that direction like well enough just like that just it's for an example so even if i were like backwards like this i could still do like a half spin and i could still you just need to get used to your spins basically timing is so key when it comes to this also muscle memory too but uh if you can do that you know that's fine next thing you want to do is this all shouldn't happen like very very quickly very like fast for some of you it might but probably for a lot of people it more than likely won't because it's pretty hard so what i do recommend is you know getting this timing down like perfectly and when you can do that just for a 360 jump off then you should move on to a 720 that's just like the bare minimum of what people just will kind of take for trick shots. I go for them all the time and it's just kind of cool when I hit something like cross map. You know, sometimes I go for 1080s, but most of the time I go for 720s. Uh, we won't really be talking about like NSL. I'll describe that more. You probably, some of you might not know what NSL is at all, but for right now, we're just going to do basic stuff in air is what we're going to do. Uh, and like I said, this is a very beginner episode for right now. The later ones will be a little bit more kind of extreme, I guess. The next thing that you want to do is you want to be able to time your 720s and I don't recommend you just pulling off a 720 right away. It should be a 360 and then a 360. So it's just like a 360 pause, 360 pause, just like that. And you know, maybe not exactly like that for you to actually hit it, but for you to get this timing to where you can look at somebody 360 pause, 360, and that's the timing. And if you, if your crosshairs land, like within this area or your bullet trail or whatever lands within this area then that's good then you're doing something right and then once you get that timing down you should be able to 720 non-stop you should be continuously spinning to where every single time you spin it's just a constant 720 so 360 720 it's kind of weird for me just because it's on pc but just how it is i'm kind of messing up but my timing's just a little weird because it feels so weird that i'm on the pc but just 720, just 360, 360. You can see I have my 360s down like pretty much perfectly. It's just kind of off by a little bit. But then you move on to constant 720s. And then when you can get constant 720s down, obviously you can move on to other things. But you should do, as I said, learn how to do constant 720. And then what you do is like you did with the other 360 or the half whatever just being able to go back to the origin of where you were looking at or to where the enemy is to where you can be here and instead of just doing like a little half spin to we'll, we'll go like that then we do like kind of like a that was a little weird kind of my screen kind of freaked out but you you're just adding in an extra spin so this is i think that's actually like a a little bit more than a 540 actually i don't think it is it might be a little bit less but yeah so you just get your timing down with this now to where you can perfectly get like something like that down Hey man, what's up? Sorry I had to kill you. But getting your time down with that was always just good to where even if I go over here, you know, uh, that's not really a good example because they're over there. But if I were to go, I already did this, but oh, okay. So I can do it because this is a shot I actually go for a lot. It's like, I'm right here, they're in the mid or whatever. And, you know, I kind of messed up there, but it's just like that. And, like I looked in that direction. So I'm going to get used to 
shooting just like that getting your timing down to where you know how many spins you're gonna do how many constant spins you're gonna do i just really recommend i do it a lot it's just like seven it's like 360 pause 360 is usually what i do and that usually just works out for me so yeah that's basically as far as i'm gonna actually die because i just want to you know do it in real life too just kidding uh that's basically as basic as i can go if you can get that down then that's where you start including more stuff into your shots so just as like doing a 720 constant if you want to start adding in more stuff you jump off and you add a little yy in there and then when you get the yy going then like you can do like a little concussion yy and then you move on and then you can do like monies and you can do insta swaps and you can do so on and so forth and you can just keep on learning how to do more and more shots and it's pretty sick so that's basically going to be the first episode guys i really don't know what else i should do. this it's as basic as i can go i don't want to go into like too much detail about everything else but i'm hoping this helps at least a little bit and if it does that's awesome if it doesn't at all then it's whatever but it's just to kind of help out the very 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 beginners and if you have if you're on if you are above the you know the beginner status then the next one will be a little bit better for you but hopefully this helped out a few of you guys so anyway if you guys want to see another one of these please be sure to leave a like if you guys are new please be sure to subscribe use code random on all your x gamer products and also if you don't know that I, my apparel just came out as well if you guys want to go check out that that is in i think that's going to be in the description as well if it isn't it is now so you can go check that out and yeah so i had a lot of fun making this and i hope you guys had fun watching me be an idiot and try to describe trick shotting for you probably made no sense but you can show this to like your mom dad grandma your cousin and maybe even one day your dog will understand how to trick shot and you know your boy random has told you how to so we're gonna go for one final attempt it's probably not gonna hit and it did not and we're gonna rage so it can actually look like it's in the kill cam but yeah that's basically it. I, this camo actually looks so sick i'm doing it for my next uh what is it from oh kill camp didn't even show so whatever anyway hope you guys enjoyed i will see you next video whenever it is uh, bye bye